To help us with our design layout, I'm going to add in a style here. So this will just be a quick border style. So that we can actually see where all of our main content and our containers are sitting. Uh, so because I'm going to be working on this one, I'm going to add it in there. I can add it in there. I can add it in there and so on. So this breaks up our content and allows us to see it uh, quite a bit better. And I'm also going to add it in to each one of these IDs here that we're going to be working with. So it's a one pick border that we've added in and this gives us a better idea of how that content is being displayed and output. Uh, so we want to Ideally, we want to break apart. We want to break this apart into two columns. Uh, so we're going to just do it within a standard way, where we're going to select. So we make a selection. So we're going to do header using that header ID and select uh, logo within it, or we could just simply select logo as well. So maybe we'll just keep it at that. Uh, so because we're, we've used IDs there, so we do have the ability to do nav bar and we could have just as easily done this as header the parent and then the div and the nav as well so either way we could do the same thing and accomplish the same uh, same uh, result here so let's float this one over to the left and I'm gonna give it a width so the logo uh, looking at roughly the widths that we need for it so maybe we can do something like a 40% width and then this one will float over we can float it to the right or we could float it to the left so it doesn't really matter because we're going to be taking up that full available 100% so we're just going to keep it at floated to the left and so there we go so now we've got our navigation bar here when we refresh it uh, so we've got our navigation bars ready to go, we've got our company logo, so each taking up their correct percentage, and then when we really shrink it down like this, uh, we're going to collapse the menu in and make a drop down menu. So let's go back into logo here and we're going to update some of the text there that's available. Uh, so we want to make maybe the text align and we pull this text over to the left hand side and maybe also remove out or we can add in a margin if we want so if we don't want it sitting directly over to the left hand side we can add in a little bit of a margin there of 10 picks but then we'd have to adjust the width so let's for now we're going to keep the margin at zero just to ensure that uh, we're floating it properly so margin zero and with zero we don't need to specify picks we can just do it that way uh, we can also update our our font color so let's update that as well so color and we're just going to do black or maybe you can add in a little bit of color I know I said I was going to do a grayscale but uh, let's add in a little bit of color there as well and we can also adjust font size and font family, of course. So maybe let's make it so 1.5 EM. So it makes it a little bit better, a little bit bigger there to stand out. So there we've got our company name. And we can also add in additional another line there if we want to make it small so if we wanted to do it this way maybe we could have a whole other container there over to the left and add in a small slogan or something like that underneath uh, so this is something that we can add in as well uh, so if we, let's just add that in there so I'm gonna create another div here and I'm just thinking probably the best way to do would be like this and we could just do small So this could be for a company slogan, making it smaller. And then we need to make some adjustments there. Uh, so let's pull that one out and do logo with a child of div is gonna be this. And 
we can do logo with a child of small and here we can adjust the color so maybe we, we want to stick with uh, something that's off red coral color and here we can adjust the font size as well so 0 0.8 And one other thing that I'm going to add in here as well, so text transform. And what text transform does is if we want to make it all uppercase, uh, it'll transform all our text to uppercase. So maybe that's a good way to go about presenting our company name so it's always uppercase. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at updating this nav bar and transform this unordered list into a navigation bar. So that's coming up in the next lesson.